Hey folks, Rex Richardson here, and just a quick one today on the topic of jazz articulation. So this topic comes up pretty frequently with uh, young jazz players or classical players who are just starting to dig into jazz. And I think the first thing I would say, the most important thing, is to make sure you're, you're forming your concept of what you want to sound like by modeling great players. So for me, when I was growing up, it was Wynton Marsalis and Freddie Hubbard, Lee Morgan, Clifford Brown, and so many other players, but those guys are probably the most influential on me in terms of jazz articulation. And on the classical side, Morris Andre, Hogan Hardenberger, Phil Smith, uh, those guys are super important to me in terms of how I thought about the starting notes. So let's talk about that for a second. If we're thinking about classical or trumpet playing, we want a certain kind of clarity, maybe a certain pristine quality and a, and a consistency to the sound. So let me try to demonstrate that approach with a, a very simple exercise. So now I'll try that same exercise in a jazz style. And as you'll hear, the, the changes are pretty subtle. I'm basically rounding the eighth notes just a little bit, very subtly, and adding a bit of texture to the front of the notes. And that's about it. So as you can hear, the changes are fairly subtle. Now, not everyone's going to articulate the way I do in jazz. It's a very personal thing. Some people will have more of a stylistic change from, from classical playing, but you don't have to go that far to make it, quote unquote, sound like jazz. This is why you have to form your concept based on listening, because you don't want to come up with some kind of a caricature of jazz, or something that's kind of cartoonish. You want, to be, you want it to be based on what you've actually heard great jazz players do. So how do we work on this? How do we practice it? I think it's a great idea to work it into your technical practice. So take good old Clark second study. So most of the time when I'm playing moderately fast jazz lines, I'm going back and forth between these two articulation patterns that I'll demonstrate with the uh, Clark second study. So of course there's not much of a jazz character in that tempo, but as with anything else, you want to start very slowly to establish technical command of what it is you're trying to do, and then gradually speed it up. And once you get to a certain threshold, it's going to have that sort of bebop style articulation you're looking for. So the next question might be, well, how do you figure out these articulation patterns? When are you tonguing, when you're slurring? When are you kind of blurring the lines between tonguing and slurring in a way that you wouldn't necessarily do very often playing classical music? Uh, I think a great rule of thumb is that jazz articulation is all about feel and facility. So for example, at a slow tempo, especially in an older style, I would very likely tongue every eighth note. fast run, it might be entirely slurred. And of course, at a moderately fast tempo, you're going to have some kind of a combination of tonguing and slurring. So a great way to practice this beyond the Clark studies is to take any kind of a similar, very simple gesture and just start very slowly, get the pattern working, speed it up gradually, and try to keep that character of sound that you're aiming for.
So earlier I mentioned that jazz articulation is really about feel and facility. So in terms of the feel, you know, the right pattern of tonguing and slurring allows you to control how much it's swinging, what, what the character is in a way that just slurring or just tonguing wouldn't do. Uh, likewise, with facility, uh, the right pattern of articulation will allow you to navigate more technically challenging passages. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Admittedly, this is a very complicated topic and this is a very short video that's just scratching the surface, really. But I hope you found it helpful and as always, I'd love to receive your questions and comments. Thank you.